What's up, everybody? The Iceman here on this Wednesday. Um, Ring of Honor tonight, followed by TNA. Uh, we also have NXT and Lucha Underground. Again, it's uh, Wrestling Wednesday. Uh, but in this video, um, somebody's got to do it. So it might as well be me because I am a John Cena fan. Um, yeah, John Cena is getting bashed all over the internet, all over the YWC, IWC these days. Uh, and frankly, um, in my opinion, I don't think he deserves to get this kind of bashing that he does get. Everybody says he's a cancer. Um, everybody's saying that he can't wrestle. Everybody's saying he doesn't put anybody over. Um, he has five moves of doom. Um, you know, we've seen him in the ring uh, recently uh, with Kevin Owens. We saw him on Monday night with uh, Cesaro. We've seen him in the ring with Brian, uh, Daniel Bryan. We've seen him in the ring with CM Punk. Uh, we've seen him in the ring with Neville. Um, and everybody's saying that if it weren't for these guys, that uh, uh, these matches wouldn't be very good. Um, some of that is true, but not all of it. Um, and, and this is the case with any wrestler. Um, there has to be a chemistry between the two that are involved in the match in order for it to make a match really, really good. Um, and it does, it takes two. It can't be just one guy because if it is one guy, you really, you really can see it. And, uh, John Cena has gotten better as he's gotten older. Um, and you know, in my opinion, um, I, I honestly do think, uh, he gets trashed a lot more than he should. And, uh, to be quite honest with you, um, I think a lot of this has to do with because people are afraid to defend John Cena because they know they'll get hate on. Uh, people will throw bad and negative comments at them. Um, I think if more people stood up to actually how they really felt, I think there'd be more John F Cena fans really admitting it to the to the internet people or the YWC, IWC. Um, and, uh, you know, it wouldn't be... Uh, to look as bad as what it does. John Cena, in my eyes, has been, you know, exemplary uh, with the WWE since he uh, first arrived. Uh, I know in the early days, um, you know, he really didn't do a heck of a lot. And then he did the thug thugonomics thing with the chain, wearing the jerseys and, and doing the rap. And, you know, that was that was fun to watch back then. But John Cena had a goal. John Cena wanted to become bigger. He wanted to become in the spotlight. He wanted to grasp those title belts. And in, in all fairness, that thugonomics gimmick with John Cena probably never would have got there. And I think he knew it. Um, he went into the ruthless aggression era, which was a transformation, was like in, in between what he is now and what he was with the Thugonomics. And uh, it showed a little potential uh, for John Cena. And uh, it showed some promise. And But still, he wasn't happy. Um, he wanted to be the man that could, um, you know, really, you know, be up there, uh, be popular. He wanted the fans to really get behind him. And um, he changed his character. And so he become the guy that's become, that's really behind the country, uh, a patriot. Um, he defends the the armed forces. He defends his country. Um, and look where he's gone. He's gone to the point where he is now the face of the WWE. Um, his merchandise selling was phenomenal. I don't think he's at the very top anymore but that's to be expected when you've been around in the ring for 13 years and uh you're gonna lose popularity um you know he's now out of the title picture he's a 15-time world champion he's one away from uh grasping that tie with rick flair um, a lot of people don't want him to get it um in my eyes i would like to see him get it it wouldn't even bother me 
Um, I wouldn't even mind to see him surpass Ric Flair just for the fact that Cena's been with the company and only the company with his title reigns. Um, uh, unlike Ric Flair, who's, you know, jumped ship from time to time. He's had uh, title reigns back in the uh, NWA days, the WCW days, and the WWF days. And, you know, and he's gone back and forth. So for me, Cena surpassing Ric Flair would not be a problem. But, uh, yeah, um, just lately it just seems like everybody's really getting down on John Cena. And, and it's sort of ironic, too, because he's had some phenomenal matches with Kevin Owens. Uh, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, he should – lose all these matches with Owens and put Kevin Owens over. But the bottom line is Kevin Owens does not need to be put over as much as one would think. He's already there. He's already a major star in the WWE. And this way it protects both guys by, you know, going back and forth, dancing back and forth with, with uh, the victories. Um, people are asking what will be, the outcome at Battleground, I think it's going to end pretty much in a disqualification. Um, and so they'll probably continue it on into SummerSlam, where, honestly, I think John will drop the belt. Um, but, you know, in all fairness, um, he does put people over. Uh, he has become even better in the ring. I'm seeing moves... Uh, now that I've never seen him do before and everybody's saying, well, he's copying the stunner. Uh, he's doing this, he's doing that. But you know, in all fairness to John Cena, look at all the other wrestlers. How many variations of the sharpshooter are there? How many variations of the STF are there? Um, everybody has a signature name for a very, very similar move that other wrestlers use, but it seems like only John Cena only people talk about that. So, in my eyes, John Cena has been a true champion within the WWE since he's risen to the top. And um, I, for one, have been a fan. I always will be a fan. And I think it will be a very, very sad day when the time comes that John Cena is no longer in the WWE. And people won't realize it until he is really gone. And, um, you know, then they're going to say, oh, wow, you know, we miss Cena. Much like what happened with CM Punk. Everybody bashed Punk when he left, the way he left. And now everybody's complaining because Monday Night Raw is is, is just not a good good show. People are bashing the product. Um, and a lot of people are saying, boy, I wish Punk was back. And they're going to say the same thing about John Cena once he's gone. So, really... Um, be careful what you wish for, and um, honestly, if you would really admit it to yourself, you really would admit that John Cena is a halfway decent wrestler within the wrestling ring, and he is an all-around pretty decent guy as well. So those are my thoughts on John Cena on this day, uh, July 1st, 2015. Hope everybody has a great day uh, wrestling tonight. We'll see you all next time. This is the one and only The Iceman.